Hello. Uh, listen, I was reading my comments. I wasn't going to do any more videos, but I was reading my comments and hidden messages. Hello, hidden messages. I don't think I've ever answered one of yours before, so welcome. Thank you for writing a comment. And uh, they have a question about life reviews. And I know why, well, I know why a lot of people have questions about life reviews. Because y'all are terrified that you've screwed up. And I'll tell you again, there's nobody on the other side going to judge you. Nobody on the other side is going to say you didn't do a good job. There's no such thing. That's all bullshit used to control you. Now, if you use your brains, you'll understand that this was an exceptionally smart way of controlling people and keeping gods in amnesia. I mean, pure genius. But then we're gods. Of course it's genius. But let me go through the, the life review. For a lot of people that do the life review, um, I think it's hard to explain. Um, yeah, I had the life review, but it wasn't... I would, I would picture it more that it was meant for a different reason. And most people, I don't think, come back with the reason why um, it's done. And the reason why it's done is it collapses time and space is what's really happening. It's not magic or anything. It's just people, when they have a life review, they, they are in the process of stepping outside of time space. And when you, t when you step outside of time space time space collapses and all those little moments that operated in a linear time space way in your life well they start collapsing in as into now time and when that happens you see all of it at once now I think a lot of people come back before it's completely done and they don't get to now time most people don't get to now time so they don't get the whole picture so they just get flashes of it so when they come back to life, it looks like they've had a life review. And the things that you tend to remember when you come back, when you've had a part, of, whenever you haven't gone into complete now time, are the big events in your life. The things that you thought were really good and the things that you thought were really bad. But in reality, when you go all the way outside of, and you get into now time, all of the moments that are in your life that were laid out in linear form collapse into now time and you see all of your life in a single now moment. So the good thing about that is you know instantly everything that happened and every reason why it happened because you can correlate the data. So I've told you guys before, now I've had a really, really, really horrible uh, childhood. Uh, doesn't get much worse than what I had. But it had some huge advantages. It became I became extremely good at what eventually I figured out was uh, telepathy, which made me a really good nurse. Uh, I didn't know it at the time until I died and came back. But without the childhood that I had where I lived, I had to be acutely aware of my parents because they were dangerous, or very, very dangerous people. So I became very, very good at collecting data from them, which made me very highly uh, telepathic. Now, it's really kicking me in the ass nowadays, uh, status post dead, because I pick up everything. But nonetheless, it did a lot of good for me. Now, that's just one example. But when you die and you completely die and you leave and you go into now time, all those things collapse into a single moment so you can see how they all work together. So when you leave here and you completely leave, you're totally at peace about it. So if there was anything in your life that you thought was a bad thing, that you did a horrible thing to anybody, I don't care how bad it was, trust me. On the other side, when you collapse it all down, it will make sense. There was a reason for everything. And in the big picture, whenever I pulled even further back from that, I collapsed my now time into everybody else's now time that was alive when I died. Then I pulled back even further and it collapsed it into all humanity's now time. And then I collapsed it into the beginning, all the way back to the beginning of this game. So... I know that sounds really, really like a big deal and like it was difficult, but it really isn't because I, I'm going to ask you, when you walk outside and you look outside, 
you don't stop, and I think I've said this before, you don't stop and say, okay, well, there's a leaf on the tree. Okay, there's another leaf on the next tree or right next to it. And now you stop and look at all these leaves, and then there's the top of the tree. Then you go down, and there's a trunk. You don't do that. You, you, you look out in front of you, and you instantly have a picture of what is in front of you, right? You don't look at each detail. You just know it in an instant by a glance. Well, it's the same kind of process, uh, this whole life thing that they say. And by, by name, I don't like that name. I don't like life review. They've made movies about that, and that makes it seem like you're going to be judged. You don't, you're not judged. It's not a life review. It's a kind of, it's just the way, it's just what naturally happens when you pull out of the game. It's a part of everything else. Now time is the norm, and that is how you experience everything. So you simply are removing yourself from linear time space and moving back into now time. And what happens when that occurs is a collapsing of that linear time space and in so that your life is in a now moment okay hopefully that answers the question love you guys bunches huge hugs and i'll see you later bye now